All right, so if you're getting this windshield washer fluid low warning on your Cybertruck, here's how to fill it up. So first thing, we're gonna have to open the frunk and then move over to the passenger side. So you can either open it from the screen here or you can push it on the button in the front. Uh, since it's raining right now, I'm gonna push the button on the front so it has less time for rain to get in. All right, so we're over here on the passenger side. I'm gonna actually open this up first. Okay, and then let's go ahead and open up the frunk. I kind of parked under this to help with the rain. And yeah, so it's gonna open up, all right. You can see all this water's kind of spilling down. Hopefully it's enough to keep it dry. You see it kind of hangs over, so it's helping a little bit. We just open up this little port here, all right. You just pull on it, just like that. And we're gonna go ahead and pour this in. So the kind of shape of this makes it a little bit nicer. I do need kind of a tripod maybe, let's see, because I have to hold this lid up. Let me get this started maybe, and then we'll continue. So you can see there, we're just gonna pour the washer fluid into it. Okay, I do need to hold this with my other hand. So sorry, you're gonna get this view of getting the washer fluid in there. But we're just gonna pour that in. Let's see if it can fit the full gallon. The washer fluid was completely empty this time. So, yeah, we'll see. Anyways. All right, Tesla doesn't recommend using this bug washer fluid or the ones with the uh, water repellent stuff in it. And usually that's because the windshield wiper is going to start chattering. I kind of want to test it out anyways. <laughs> if anything, you just need to super clean your windshield again to get it off. But um, I'll show you right now the way it's going it's kind of a oh it actually fits the whole gallon okay all right i can actually see it's all the way at the top now okay you can see the washer fluids all the way at the top so it just fits the full gallon and that's with a completely empty washer fluid tank okay so there we go got that completely filled um, I don't know if Tesla was going to refill my washer fluid for free at the service station. They sometimes do that when it's low. <laughs> um, since I'm going to have some work done on the truck. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and close the frunk. I do see some like bug poop thingies here. So let's see if we can clean that up. Oh, that's one other thing. They made this a lot more sensitive. So now like any like tiny stuff sticking out the thing just pops back up all right let's see if it closes this time okay there we go all right so let's go inside use the washer fluid and see if it helps with water repellent all right so i turned the cyber truck around just so more rain would fall on it and let's go ahead and use the wiper now you can see how it's all sheeted on right now like the water's just like a big sheet of water it's not like individual drops let's try and use the washer fluid now so you just hold the button down okay and now it's spraying out. You can see there's the washer fluid. Oh, it got just swiped out. Let's see if it did anything yet. Usually you use this stuff more during warm weather. Um, so I don't know how well it's gonna work right now. You can see here, it, it's kind of dripping down like it's soapy looking, um, but it's still currently sheeting the water. Okay, so we're gonna continue using more. Maybe I'm gonna have to use the real like um, Rain-X, not the kind with the bug washer fluid stuff in it. I don't have any bugs on my windshield, so I don't need to worry about that. But uh, yeah, you can see it's still not beating up the way um, it does on like over here, see? I didn't put anything on that, but I don't know. They have some coating or something that helps it bead the water up. Let's continue using. That little bottle was like $4 plus tax, so <laughs> we're using quite a bit. I don't know. Um, I do have actual Rain-X uh, in my house, I believe, so I might end up applying some of that if this doesn't do anything. Um, you can see it's still kind of doing its thing and cheating, right? All right, it's looking like it's getting all streaking down there. So yeah, with this Rain-X bug washer fluid kind, 
it looks like it's not really applying the rain x very well so let's try using a bit more you can see it's like getting a decent amount all over it's kind of all just also dripping down there so I'm gonna let it set for a bit and then yeah we'll be back so maybe I need to be driving so it can keep the windshield wiper down <laughs> Let me do that real quick, actually. Mm -hmm. So give me a second. I'm going to start driving, and then I'll show you guys in a bit. Okay, so if you look at this right now, it is kind of working. It's it's not as like a uniform sheet of water. Um, it kind of looks like as if oil <laughs> or grease was on the windshield. So, yeah. You can see how the one that hasn't been treated is and then over here okay as you can see I'm driving at about 55 miles an hour and no it's not doing anything so as far as the rain X goes it's not really helping yet so I'm gonna get actual rain X apply that and then we'll see